What's up gamers, the Red Dragon here, and don't know if you've been paying much attention lately, but E3 is going on this week, and we've seen all the press conferences now that there is to see. We got Sony, Microsoft, and we've got Nintendo. So I thought they all pretty much sucked. Overall, Sony was pretty forgettable. They had a few new IPs. Xbox I thought was bad until I saw Nintendo's, and then Nintendo's I thought was the worst of them all, which was surprising because Nintendo, I thought, had the most to prove because they've got a console releasing pretty soon uh, and we didn't even get a, a release date or a price point yet for the Nintendo Wii U but we are starting to learn more details and not all of them good for one the Wii U the controller is only got a battery life of around five to three hours yeah, I almost said five and upwards, but no, it, it's under five, three to five hours, and that's actually coming from Nintendo. So, you know, when you get estimates from the, the manufacturer, a lot of times they're a little bit better than what they actually are. One thing, though, that, that was a good outcome was the ability that they've announced that you can use the Wii U controller twice. So you can have two of them plugged in at the same time. So uh, there was some talk beforehand about the Wii U only supporting one tablet style controller, you know, that they're really focusing on. Uh, but it does turn out that you can plug in two of them. But how much is a controller? So how much is it going to cost you to end up getting two of them? Uh, and also, if you're using two at the same time, they uh, tweeted, they didn't announce this in their press conference, but they tweeted it out later, that it actually takes the 60 frames per second and bumps it down to 30 frames per second if you have two controllers plugged in. And uh, before the conference, there was talk, you know, Nintendo, it doesn't look like they're going to be focusing on graphics. They're focusing on integration and, and how you play the game using this controller. Uh, and, and they're not really focusing on graphics. And it's rumored that Unreal Engine 4 not going to work on uh, Wii U. And all the games that they showed off, they, they weren't graphically impressive at all. They were on par with what you can see now in your system. So uh, really, the only selling point of this game is the tablet. And then when Microsoft came out and they announced the Xbox Smart Glass, it makes you wonder if Wii U has anything left to sell and if anybody will be picking up this system. Now, of course, uh, people are going to pick up the system, whatever. But overall, Xbox Smart Glass, if you haven't heard about this, what it does is it integrates your tablet or smartphone already with your system and it's going to be available on iPhones and Androids. So a lot of people already have this stuff already in their homes and it's going to be able to work with your Xbox. So a few of the ways they showed it working was one, Internet Explorer is coming to Xbox. Uh, so you're going to be able to use voice chat, whatever, but you can also use the smart glass. So you can use your phone to type out a message, text or whatever, and it appears on screen on the Xbox. So pretty cool stuff there. Also, they showed Madden, uh, and they showed people bringing up their phone and, and doing a little custom play, pressing enter, and then it, it's doing it on screen. And so it's seamlessly working with your game. So it incorporates like a new controller. So this is basically the idea for the Wii. What Microsoft is saying is, F you, Nintendo. You don't need to buy a brand new system to get a controller with a tablet. We can make the tablet that you already got at home work with your current console system with the Xbox. And we're not even talking about next gen yet. This is stuff that'll work currently. So um, I don't know. Nintendo is going to have some problems, I believe. Now, there are some reasons why the Nintendo system would work better if you're going to use this. I mean, they showed off games where you have to, you know, look down and maybe use this as a map or a menu, and that's okay or whatever. But I really don't want to look down at stuff and take my eyes off the screen whenever I'm playing a video game. Some other features that they used was that you can use it to like hold it up and try to look at whichever one. I'm not sure. It, it didn't really point out which one I'm supposed to be looking at, whether it's the, the tablet or the actual TV screen. And it just, I don't know. A lot of the games that they showed off that incorporated it, it looked like it was almost forced, like the developers had to come up with something to incorporate this, while other games did look like it was pretty cool and you could see somewhat the potential. Zombie U, the new zombie game coming out for the Wii U, that looked pretty cool. Uh, I really like the Luigi game that they showed off. Some of the games looked alright, but overall, 
I wasn't sold on the Nintendo Wii U whatsoever. I ended up walking away thinking Wii U. Um, so that was my impression of the press conferences. Sony's pretty forgettable. They had a few new IPs that they announced. Xbox, the big deal was the the smart glass they of course had some good games that they showed off and i'll do another video where i talk about the games and which games really stuck out this year at e3 but overall the conferences from the the big companies that are producing the hardware not very impressive this year nintendo very lacking xbox did all right there you go that's it for me the red dragon if you like this video like it thumbs up subscribe i will see you next time thanks for watching